Hello my beautiful kings and queens, now today I'm going to be doing a mukbang, I ordered some Chinese food because your girl was hungry, your girl was starving here at university and my dad was so ever so kind, like I called him, I wanted him to actually bring me something from home, like some noodles or something because usually I keep that stuff in my room but I actually ran out. So I wanted him to just bring me something from home real quick and he told me if I just spend my money that I've been saving for something very, very special that he will pay me. And I just thought that was kind, like I never heard of anything like that. I don't know, like does he just feel like being kind or like is it because it's my birth month? But that was just so kind. So let me get into what we ordered. Before I start anything, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment something, just comment video suggestions or something, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you haven't, sis, what are you doing? But let's get into the, the video. So I'm not going to show y'all my address or my number, not like that, but this is the receipt. Freaking focus. I spent, how much did I spend? I spent $16.47 in total. I brought some cheese wontons. Love those. And I got some coconut chicken. It comes with white rice. And I got a ginger ale. Mm -hmm. Cause your girl. My stomach hurts. I don't know why. I'm just gonna open this now. I haven't been drinking soda this week since I've been in the gym, but mm. that's good. I haven't been drinking soda this week. Since I've been in the gym, I've been drinking water. So I got this right here. Just in case my food gets like too salty or something. This whole semester, I've been drinking soda. I mean, it's at my job and I just, yeah, I've been drinking soda. The name of the place I ordered from was Panda. I'm not gonna show y'all all the info, but yeah. So we're gonna get into this. I don't know how this is gonna work out because y'all can't really see the food. So I'm gonna have to hold the food up while I eat it because like my camera situation is just This is a little chewy. It's not really crunchy. It's like they just popped them in the microwave. Honestly, I was wondering my, why my food came so quick. It's been like, like 20 minutes. My rice was upside down. Let me stop complaining. Um, okay, so we have our white, our white rice packed in there. Look at ever so delicious. Why did they give us forks? I eat my rice with a spoon. Comment below if you eat your rice with a spoon or a fork. I know some some people who use a fork and a knife. But that's just weird. Okay, so like I said, I ordered coconut chicken. I had a taste for something sweet. So I got coconut chicken. And I never ordered coconut chicken from a Chinese restaurant. I only had it before at... um. had 
it before at a buffet. Oh, they gave us a lot of duck sauce, which I don't even need. Sweet and sour for a long time. Wow, they gave us a lot of duck sauce. I'm actually going to have to save this. But when I need it, oh my, everything's falling, yo. I'm so clumsy. I was trying to think of a topic to talk to you guys about. You know what? I don't feel like I don't feel like getting a spoon. I'm just gonna. That rice is really nasty plain. But because I do very intense workouts in the morning. My body just craves carbs like crazy. And I literally have to stop myself sometimes from eating too many carbs in, too many carbs in a day. Uh comes with broccoli. We're not that unhealthy. I'm gonna show y'all hold on. Mm. Oh my god. This is so good. This is chicken. It's like in this sweet sauce. Oh my god. What? What was I saying? Yeah, so I do intense workouts every morning. So when I come home, my body is craving carbs. And I know I should eat healthy carbs like veggies and stuff, but <clears throat> since I'm on spring break, my dining hall is closed. I wanted to do something. I wanted to like watch anime and multitask. No. Um, I'm not even gonna complain, but if you don't watch anime, you are. You need to watch it, like. Anime is amazing. If you watch anime, comment your favorite ones below. As well. Anime is like the best thing like since sliced bread. <coughs> um who put me on the anime? My brother always watched anime and I thought he was weird. Because I was like, okay. You're a black boy obsessed with Japanese TV shows. Like, what's up with that? Like, I could understand Dragon Ball Z because that's the most popular anime. But even that, I thought was weird. Guys were always, like, obsessed over that in high school. So, um, I thought it was weird. So, I started watching it, yo. Mm. Man, I meant to throw that domino box out yeah so i thought it was weird like why was guys like why were guys so obsessed with freaking goku and super saiyan stuff like i didn't get the hype so i just i noticed that boys thought it was special for a girl to like anime so when i got in it it wasn't for the right reasons, but I ended up actually falling in love with it. Like, I think it was um, a guy I had a crush on or something. He posted something with like girls who watch anime with hard eyes. I don't know, something like that happened. And so. 
I started asking my brother questions about it. He was like, yeah, they have all types of anime. They have anime for girls, for guys, romance, drama, comedy, action. I was like, oh, really? So I started browsing through stuff, but I didn't really watch anything. Then I think I posted something. I was like, what type of anime should I watch? And a few people actually hit me up. There's one guy hit me up in, um told me that I should watch Naruto or Dragon Ball Z or something like that. But he like strongly like encouraged me to watch Naruto first. And this other guy hit me up and he said watch either one first to start off with and then start exploring options. And then this one girl, she hit me up and she gave me a whole list, a whole list. And I watched a few on the list, but not all of them yet. <coughs> She gave me a whole list of options. And yeah, she gave me a whole list of options. And I um I just noticed this early. I should have I mean, I guess more early isn't that bad, but yeah, so I started with Naruto. Boy when i tell you the first episode had me hooked i was like whoa 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 wait every five seconds yo it's something always happening in naruto is crazy like there's so many plot twists and like i just love all the characters like naruto is my favorite character but actually no naruto was my favorite character at first but gara he he was my favorite character i swear when he died my heart just broke and i was so sad and naruto was sad so it made me even more sad and then when he came back to life i was so happy like i was cheesing and everything i was in the best mood ever when he came back to life because honestly i thought he was gone forever and it made me so sad but when he came back to life what your girl was happy okay but yeah i got hooked on naruto the only thing was there's so many episodes. There's like what 300 episodes in the first part. Um, I just couldn't do it consistently. I took so many breaks. I started Attack on Titan. Actually, I tried watching Attack on Titan before I watched Naruto, and I don't know. I just didn't like it at first. Then I started getting tired of Naruto, so I started watching Attack on Titan. And Jack Out Tight is crazier, like, and that show was so crazy. I had to tell my parents about it. It was just so sad when Aaron's, like, mom got eight in front of him. Like, that broke my heart. But, yeah, um... <clears throat> Attack on Titan is crazy. I didn't finish it. I finished season one. And then I stopped. So I spent a long time with... Going back and forth with different, um... Animes. I started My Hero, but I didn't really watch that much of it. I started, um... What's it called? Fairy... No. Fairy Tale, yeah. Didn't watch much of that. I started... Mm. Sword Art Online. I started, I watched a few episodes. It was good. I just got distracted by other animes. I'm going to tell you about. But yeah, finished season one of Attack on Titan. Um, got into Naruto Shippuden. Now, Naruto Shippuden was way, it wasn't better, but it was really good. Um, they put a lot of sugar on this. I feel like I'm having diabetes. I stopped around like episode, not 200, but right before 200 for Shippuden. And that's the second part of Naruto, by the way, if you don't really know. And then I started um, exploring other animes. Didn't really get into any until recently. 
I just finished Seven Deadly Sins. What? If you don't know what that is, you probably think I'm crazy. Like, me as a Christian, I thought it was crazy too. And actually watching it with all the, like, demonic stuff, it was a little scary. But Seven Deadly Sins is my show. Like, I absolutely love it. It's like, other than Naruto and Attack on Titan, it's like the best anime I ever saw. It's the best anime on Netflix, it's definitely Naruto and Attack on Titan, of course. It was so bomb. Like, all the characters in Seven Deadly Sins. I mean, it was a little weird, like, Meliodas, that's like the leader of the group called the Seven Deadly Sins, or the captain, he was a little too friendly with his friend Elizabeth, but <clears throat> they was a little too friendly, but it was so weird and creepy, but cool at the same, at the same time. But guys, it all started with me watching Naruto and Attack on Titan. I also watched Baki. I haven't really finished it. It's too violent for me. Like, they're always fighting. There's always blood. Somebody's always breaking somebody's neck or sticking their fingers and eyeballs. It's too much for me. So I only could watch it, like, a few episodes at a time in a week. But I want to start, um... I think it's called Maggie, but the adventures of Sinbad. I actually want to watch more of My Hero because I haven't really gotten into it. But yes, I love anime. Yo. It's like, I don't know what it is, but. There's days where I want to watch real people and there's days where I want to watch <coughs> excuse me there's days where I want to watch um cartoons and I'm not really into the same cartoon cartoons I used to be into so and I watched all the cartoon movies on Netflix so anime it is and I just love how there's a wide range of genres my you literally could find an anime show about anything anything I mean I understand it's Japanese TV show, TV show but honestly I wish there was more anime with black people in it just because I like seeing colored people on TV but <clears throat> Y'all gotta watch anime. Anime is everything. Everything. Honestly, I need to start watching Naruto again. Cause Naruto was my dying piece. Naruto, I'm telling y'all, if you don't watch all, like, if you don't get deep into anime, at least watch Naruto. Give Naruto a chance if you haven't already. Um. I want to start Dragon Ball Z. I just don't know when's the right time. Because. <coughs> I just don't know when's the right time. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Like, it's like coconut milk in here. Like, can y'all see that? It's like coconut milk in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's so good. Um, I've been waking up at 6 every morning to go to the gym. Um, I'm glad I'm eating early. It's 6.52 right now. I'm glad um, I'm eating early because it'll give me more time to digest. 
have food before I go to the gym so I'm not slow in the morning. This morning I had a really good workout because I did weight training before cardio for the first time this week. And I had a cup of tea this morning. I had some ginger tea and I really like made me sweat more, gave me more energy. And it like flushed my body before I worked out, so you know. But now that I'm so focused on my weight loss, like like my workout part, obviously not my nutrition part, but Now that I'm so focused, I actually miss the gym when I'm here. <clears throat> like, because I'm on break, I don't have much to do. So I literally sit here missing the gym, saying, oh, maybe I should go twice a day. I can't wait to go in the morning. Like, I be missing the gym. I can tell when school starts back up, I'm gonna be going twice a day because on the nights I don't work, I'm gonna need something to do and I'm gonna wanna go to the gym because summer is coming. <clears throat> summer is really coming. Like, no joke. Why was there a napkin in my cheese wontons? Yo, they dirty. They is, that's, that is suspect. I'm not gonna tell y'all what the surprise for my channel is until it happens. Like, once I post the video, you're gonna no. Why is my pinky sticking up like that? Once I post the video, you're gonna know. But just know it's for my channel and it's to better my content and it's something I've been really working hard for. I I really been working hard for this. Um, I don't work the best job, and if I was rich, <clears throat> I'd quit my job in a heartbeat. But <sighs> gotta work. gotta work because nothing comes for free that's why I'm gonna get serious about YouTube because I'm never consistent I used to be consistent I used to post almost every day so I noticed my channel wasn't going anywhere but little did I know that if I would have kept posting my channel would have been taken off right now like some of my videos 8,000 views that should be 9,000. Soon 10K. Um, 3,000 views. I got a 2.9K video. I got a video that just reached 1,000. Excuse me. And I didn't even know it was going to reach 1,000. Right. The last... I'm sorry. But the last I looked at that video... Oh my god. My hair touched the sweetest fabric. The last I looked at that video was like on 1K. It was at 700 views. Didn't even think it would get 1K, but a lot of people are getting serious about this weight loss thing. And I do not blame them. 
I do not blame them at all. Make sure you check out my other videos. See you love. 3.1 cam. Once a video takes off, it's so much easier for it to continue taking off. Like this video that got 8.8k views. Just just the other month it started like taking off. Been up for a year. Probably going on two years. But it started taking off like late. That's the thing. It started taking off late. Ow. So I have faith in my other videos that didn't really take off yet. But I'm not going to eat all of this. Honestly, I don't know what I'm eating tomorrow. <clears throat> And I might as well save some for tomorrow because look at all it is. This is probably like 5,000 calories. They, you would tell they literally glazed the freaking chicken like with sugar. Like, can you see that? It's literally sugar on this chicken. Okay. One more. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah. I probably sound like a nerd, but I love anime so much. I don't think people who watch anime are nerds. I just. I was talking to somebody. Ugh. I was talking to somebody one time. When we started talking about anime, he said, okay, that's enough for the nerd talk. I don't think people watch anime are nerds at all. I actually really love it. Like at first I was skeptical about it because I thought it was just for Asian people and I thought it was for weirdos. Especially, I used to think it wasn't even just anime. If you watch subbed anime, I thought you were a weirdo. Because why watch a show in another language and read the subtitles? I mean, I don't think that anymore, but I do prefer dubbed, and dubbed is basically the same show, but in English, like they use English voices, and then subbed is, yeah, dubbed is when they use English voices, so you don't need subtitles, and dubbed is, wait, I just said dubbed. <laughs> Subbed is when you need the subtitles because they're in their original voices. In Japanese. Alright, all of these. How many did it come with? I don't know. But. If you don't watch anime, you should check out the ones on Netflix. They have some good ones. <clears throat> it depends on what you're into. Like, Netflix have a lot, but some of them are like, they deal with demons and stuff like that. I don't really like messing with that stuff. Like, even watching Seven Deadly Sins was a little too much for me, because, ooh, child. But, so definitely check out Netflix. Um, websites like Kiss Anime. Um, Crunchyroll, I think. Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll. Um, they have sub anime, so you won't really get to watch it with the English voices. But there's this website called Viz. <coughs> Excuse me, and they have. Dubbed and dubbed. There's this other website called VRZ. I never tried it, but I know my brother uses it. <clears throat> yeah, so make sure y'all check that out. Like, don't be afraid to expand your horizons. 
when it comes to TV shows and you never know you might fall in love with it. I know Attack on Titan is on YouTube. That's when I that's where I started watching it. So just check it out because like that show will really blow your mind. Like the storyline of that show is so twisted but it's like it's so interesting at the same time. Alright, I'm full, y'all. So, we have more chicken and broccoli. I'm gonna eat that. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm kind of greedy, so I'm probably gonna eat half of it tonight. Let's see, if I'm not asleep by like if I'm not asleep by 10, I'll eat half of it tonight. Hopefully, y'all like my video, whatever. Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe I was talking about anime too much. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I just, honestly, I didn't really think of a topic before the video. Like, But don't worry, I'm going to have more videos coming about different topics i'm gonna just be going crazy with the videos because obviously that's how you take off on youtube um <clears throat> yeah but make sure you like this video comment something it could be anything it could be an emoji just comment something and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, you didn't do one. But I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.